Well, hello again, and today we are going to paint another piece of bisque ware. Um, this pattern is going to be the dragonfly pattern. It's like an ivy uh, with a dragonfly. So today I'm going to actually use the pencil to lightly give myself a guide as to where this pattern is going to go. It will burn off in the kiln, but this just gives me an idea. Because sometimes with this, I, I, I definitely get... I get uh, kind of lost in the leaves and forget where I'm going. That's going to be the dragonfly. And then I come back over here and start from the back. I, this piece was, um, vase was uh, thrown by John Arnott, my good friend, a wonderful potter. And uh, I have centered it on my decorating wheel. And I have um, cleaned it very carefully. I'm gonna just zoom out for just a minute to give you an idea of what my situation here is. Just gonna pan over just for a second. Yeah, all my glazes are over here. And then I'm gonna come back over here and we'll just, just give you an idea of what we're looking at here for my little setup. Okay, so first thing first, we're going to start with a nice brush loaded up with some green underglaze. And I'm going to start where I made that first pencil mark. And it's just a rough guide. I mean, I'm going to go outside the lines <laughs> like I always do. And this is the leaf pattern, which I think I showed in that last video with the irises and the other flowers. It's a very nice... Um, fun thing to do with this brush because it, it it really lends itself really well to a nice organic leaf. And I'll come back over and do this one. This one shouldn't take quite as long because the there aren't as many colors, but these videos I'm trying to do in real time, but uh, it's probably getting a little old since I'm doing the same form, just different patterns. I'll try to do some mugs before this is all over. As you can see, these leaves are just a few strokes a piece and less when they, they go, go smaller as it gets towards the end of the pattern here. Yeah, that looks good. This was again uh, an early pattern that I did in blue and in green. And it was a fun pattern to start out with because it was so easy and I could duplicate it without feeling artistically squashed. It's a, it's a pattern, it's okay. Plus, everybody likes dragonflies. Unless they land on you. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure how much I can tell you here. It just It's just a pattern that is uh, pretty easy. I'll try to go as quickly as I can here. Sometimes if I have a little blank spot, I'll just come in and do a little offshoot like that. Okay, now I'm gonna use the black underglaze and starting in the back, I'm gonna do the center of the leaf pattern first. As you can see, this goes pretty quickly. And I'm using the wheel, as I always do, to get myself from one side of the vessel to the other. Someone asked me one time why I didn't have a mechanical or a motorized wheel, but I, it would, I can you imagine? <laughs> It was just going around, be like Lucy in the 
candy factory. Um, okay, so again, I'm just doing the center vein of this leaf. Trying to go as lightly as possible towards the end. And then, oops, I forgot, I forgot this part. Yeah. Then I'm going to do the outside of the leaf. I kind of do all of it at once, like the motion um, of the actual line. I can do it over and over again better if I don't, if I have to stop and go like this, it, I lose track. And if I just go through and do one aspect of the pattern at a time, I just have found it's easier to stay on task. And like I've said before, if you're doing a hundred of these, you really want to figure out a way to make it still stay fun, but be able to do many of them at once. Or not at once, but many of them, one after another. And again, this is this is not uh, this is not a pattern where I can keep my hand steady. I have to kind of move it around with the piece, so it's a little bit more. It's definitely looser. Okay. Sometimes I like to give the leaf a little bit of movement there. Sorry about that. Now you can see I'm not staying inside the lines, but it's really okay. You'll see later how that works out. Okay, now, now I very lightly, I just put a few veins in there. I'm not religious about it. I just, I just threw in a few and I do them uh, one on one side, uh, one on the other staggered. I, I, if I were a biologist, I could tell you what that means, how, what the name of that is, but I can't, so I won't. The looseness of this is really kind of charming. Let's see. Um, the dragonfly itself, I do in a teal blue, just a little different color. And um, I'm going to get at that very shortly here, as soon as I finish these leaves. Excuse me. <clears throat> Okay. All right. Now I come in with the teal color and I just do a little, a little swoop. I call it a swoop. It's just a little design, a little color, it just adds a little activity to the, to the piece. It's a little cheesy, but I also gives me a, a way to put the dragonfly in with the same color so that the color sort of the pattern sort of continues throughout so that that color isn't just dropped in out of the blue there. It's, um, it's does, it makes more sense in any case. Anyway, that's how I've done it. And then the dragonfly has its wings now. So I go in and put the little, this little body and I just loosely give him a, tail and then little eyes and then this pat this uh the dragonfly basically start at the body work out work out 
to the ends, do the top of each of his wings, and then I come in and bring it back like that. Sometimes I, I like to give him a little, yeah, okay. I think that's probably pretty good. And then the swoops that I did in the teal, I kind of come in and do that, a little definition. This may not be my best effort, but just double check for veins and make sure that it's nice and light. looks a little chaotic and it kind of is this is the pattern uh, this was actually done in a wood fired kiln it's the same pattern but if it's done in the gas fired kiln it's much brighter these greens are bright but that's basically the design on this one i just banded the outside it's a pasta bowl but there's the vase with the dragonfly and the leaves, nice and light and even and fun. Sarah Ellen Smith checking out. Thank you for watching.